So today's video is a quick one, but a very important rule to keep you on the right side of your compliance duties. So rule 6.1 states you correct any breaches of these rules promptly upon discovery. Any money improperly withheld or withdrawn from a client account must be immediately paid into the account or replaced as appropriate. If there is a shortage, the firm and the managers of that firm are jointly and severably responsible to ensure that there is no shortage in the client account of any client money. As an example here, a solicitor asks for a payment to complete, let's say, a property transaction. It's Friday afternoon, it's almost weekend, and everybody wants to get the transaction done. Everybody wants to go on, week, on weekend, get it through the bank. Everything goes fine. The transaction of, let's say, £10,000 goes through the process, but there is an error in the banking system. And by accident, a double payment is created and none of the controls catch this problem. So two payments of £10,000 goes through and now you've got a shortage of £10,000 on the client account because of this double. The firm then needs to replace that. If the £10,000 is replaced on the same day or the next day, and then you do a reconciliation on the next working day, you could avoid a reportable breach but the cash still needs to be replaced at some point. So until this money is returned back, you cannot move the replacement £10,000. If the money cannot be replaced, that will be a reportable breach of the rules that the COFA will need to report. Failure to do, uh, to do this will cause a reportable breach by your reporting accountant when they do a client account audit at the end of the year. If, if these breaches were not reported, if they should have been reported. So any breaches of the rules would need to be corrected promptly in the accounting records. Firms should have a breach register so that the COFA can review this regularly to ensure that any breaches that are reportable or that there aren't any breaches that are reportable or to see the frequency of breaches if there is anything that is reportable to the SRA. So not a particularly complicated rule to grasp, but it's quite an important one to follow and ensure that breaches are corrected promptly. So next time we'll look at payment of interest on the client account. So remember, staying informed is key and thanks for watching.